Unit 3, Reading Summative, Passage 2, Cold Gnome Prepares Warm Welcome for Mushers and Their Dog Teams, Gnome, Alaska. Jeff King is leading the pack and attempting to hold off other drivers, called mushers, in the last stages of the Aditarod Trail Sled Dog Race. The annual race across nearly a thousand miles of Alaska is won by the musher and team of dogs that reaches Nome first. Meanwhile, the town, famous for the finish line, is getting ready for the teams to come in. The finish line banner was set to be hung Monday morning in Nome. On Sunday, city crews moved the actual finish line, the burled arch, into place. The city trucked in snow to give the mushers a path once they leave the Bering Sea ice. Yeah, I know, it's funny to see people dumping snow on a street instead of taking it off the street, said Greg Bell, the Aditarod Development Director. To really dress it up and make it safe for the dog teams, we have to spread a layer of snow down for them to run on. Last Minute Preparations About 200 volunteers also have descended on Nome to make other last-minute preparations. They're getting the dog lot ready to receive teams, constructing the finished shoot, and prepping the souvenir stand. Bill McCormick of Greensboro, North Carolina, volunteered for his first Aditarod in 1998. He's been back every year since. I like being part of putting something on, said the retired engineer, whose job as a volunteer in Nome is to drug test the dogs. I enjoy the people. It's like family now. Scott Hughes was helping hammer in the final nails at the finish line Sunday afternoon. The University of Pittsburgh student made his first trip to the Aditarod as part of a church group doing mission work. It's amazing, Hugh said of his visit to Nome. King, a four-time champion, was leading Ali Zirkel by 20 minutes as the two arrived at the Aleem checkpoint shortly before midnight Sunday. Two checkpoints to go. Zirkel, a 44-year-old musher from Two Rivers, Alaska, led hours before when she arrived at the village of Yukuk, 171 miles east of Nome. She was one minute ahead of King on Sunday afternoon. King rested his 12-dog team at the checkpoint for three hours and 42 minutes. Zirkel chose to let her 11 dogs take a break for three hours and 44 minutes. King departed Kuyuk at 5.50 p.m. and arrived in Aleem at 11.27 p.m. Zirkel got back on the trail at 5.51 p.m. and made it into Aleem at 11.47 p.m., race officials said. King last won in 2006 and is trying to be only the second musher to win five races. Zirkel has come in second place in the last two years. She is seeking to become only the third woman to win the race, and she would be the first woman to win since the late Susan Butcher in 1990. Other front runners Sunday were four-time champion Martin Busher, who arrived in Kuyuk in third place at 4.20 p.m. Sunday. He was followed 13 minutes later by 2012 Iditarod champion Dallas Seavey, veteran musher, Sony Lindner arrived in fifth place at 4.47 p.m. Defending champion Mitch Seavey, father of Dallas Seavey, followed at 5.23 p.m. The racers are expected to begin arriving in Nome no later than Tuesday. They have two more checkpoints before Nome. Temperatures in Nome hovered slightly above zero Sunday, which brought clear skies and brilliant sunshine. Snowfall has been light this winter in the frontier town of nearly 3,700, so the city has been stockpiling snow. It was being trucked to Front Street for the final stretch to the finish line. Fan plans to come back. What little snow was on the ground, along with the cooler temperatures, were welcomed by fan Nina Cross of Brandon, Mississippi. She attended the start of the race last year in Anchorage, fell in love with the event, and decided she needed to see the finish in person, too. She said she remembers of the child reading about the 1925 serum run. Serum is a form of medicine. In 1925, it was being used to treat the contagious infection diphtheria. After a outbreak of diphtheria, 20 mushers 
and 150 sled dogs traveled over 600 miles to deliver Diphtheria serum to Nome. They rescued that town and neighboring ones from the epidemic. Nome was this mystical destination and it never occurred to me that I would get there someday. So for me to be here is a real event in my life, she said. And she loves the dogs. Any dogs that can laugh when they run with their tongues hanging out, they got my heart right now, said Cross, who just learned about the volunteer programs. She is already making plans to be back in Nome next year. The race began March 2nd in Willow near Anchorage with 69 teams. As of late Sunday morning, 16 mushers had scratched, leaving 53 teams on the trail. Long stretches of bare and rocky ground made for an icy, treacherous trail in the early part of the race. The first to reach Nome receives $50,000 and a new truck. The 29 teams after that win cash prizes decreasing on the sliding scale. All the other teams finishing the race receive $1,049.